Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Running Red. As you may see my mob spawner here is working and it's actually working so well I was rather surprised. Here I put some dark glass so you can actually see what's going on. Let's press the turn the jet back on and have a quick look. As you can see in here there are mobs getting ground and they can't see because of this dark glass. And I was an enderman just to drop getting killed or ground I suppose is the correct term and this is also filling up nicely so the first thing to do I did after having done this everything sort of has exploded in terms of abilities and capabilities I want to get a blood shard have I got a blood shard in here yes I've got 16 and I've got lots of other things in there which we're going to come to very shortly. Now, the first thing is... Oh, let's go do this. Of course, it gets noisy now, so let's just get rid of that. What I'm going to do with this blood shard is I'm going to shut some more, some more stuff in here. No, right. Bones. Gunpowder, don't have any. But I've got plenty of rotting flesh. And it's very noisy, so I'll speak a bit louder. And here I actually have the one that I actually wanted, and this is the Master Blood Orb, which I keep confusing the Master Blood Orb and the Magician's Blood Orb. And the way I do this, I'll show you this. I was really surprised. This altar's got 25, or 20, nearly 25,000 life essence. Let's put this weak blood shard in here and get out of the way. Because I want no mobs to spawn. And here's a good place. What I, when I was doing this, I didn't expect this to work. And all of a sudden it started to work. And I was a bit surprised. If we can actually come over here, we can see it. No, we can't. Uh, get through the gap here. You can see it's sort of bubbling away there. It's still at the moment the blood shard. And hopefully there are enough mobs in there to, to fill up the altar as quickly as it's going down. And the idea was, I wanted to get the Well of Suffering and the Well of Regeneration, I think is the one I wanted, together. And I was putting them on top of each other, but that doesn't work. Not one block on a time. You have to do it a little bit more than one block at a time. I think you have to have two blocks, or thereabouts. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Well of Regeneration above the whole of this. Something else I had to do was to had to move this mob spawn out a, a little bit further away because it was too close. I'll move it over here. I thought according to the wiki page it was a 10 block radius from the centre of the master's, master ritual stone but it was grinding mob 17 blocks away so I moved it because I wanted these mobs over here so let's have a look how we're doing over here. Have we got our master ritual, our master blood orb? Nope, not yet. But there are plenty mobs there, you can see them now. And while that's actually working well, let's have a look at the recipe that I use for the dark glass. So, dark glass is actually a thickened glass. Let's see if I can find the recipe. And it's, I think, it's this recipe here, Extra Utilities Dark Glass. This is the one. So you have to have some blackout curtains and some ink. The blackout curtains are simply just wool, six wool in a door pattern. It gives you 12 of those. Black dye is plentiful of supply. And the thickened glass is made out of smelting sandy glass. Landy glass is sort of a recipe similar to, well, just, what was I thinking of? The one from Tinker's Construct, the template one, the paper is the same, cross, little cross with glass and the sand, and that makes four sandy glass, which you then smelt and gives you four glass. So that's how we created that. So this then produced two of these. And I produced around about 28, I think. Plentiful supply of uh, ink, just from here. Of course, 
looking down there, there's always a few squids around, and I can easily grind those with the looting knife, um, the looting sword, and the looting sword really does make a difference. Hopefully, this is now completed. Let's have a look. Yes. So you see, now I've got a second master blood orb, and the altar's full. Let's put the other one back in because I'm bound to need two. I don't ask me why. I just got the feeling I need two. Right, there it goes. Fly back again. Got the hopper. I got the thing still on. So now what I want to do is I want to make the well of regeneration, and the well of regeneration requires all sorts of bits and pieces. So let's take a, a ritual diviner. I think it's called. And we need, for this particular one, let's have a look what we need. Uh, I mean, an activation, but that's right. We need an awakened activation crystal. And that is made by a weak activation crystal, incendium, aether, aquarius, and a demon blood shard. And these are all fairly straightforward to make. This is one lava bucket, netherrack, simple catalyst, and incendium produces incendium. And you just need the magician's blood orb or higher, I think. It tells you here. No, even the apprentice blood orb and higher will do that one. This one here, Aether, is relatively straightforward. Two feathers, one gas tier, simple catalyst, and glowstone. Uh, Aquellus is a water bottle, three water bottles, one ink sack, and simple catalyst. But this is the hard one, the demon blood shard. We could use another start, but I think that's even harder. So the demon blood shard, how did we get that? We have to go and kill a demon, strangely enough. So I did it, and I'll show you how I did it. So the first thing I had to do was to make an ar some arcane plinths and some arcane pedestals. Actually, I need six. And the recipe for these, let's have a look. Is one weak blood shard, an obsidian. So I need you need seven of those because you need the one for the actual plinth as well. So the plinth recipe is this one here. So that's one plinth with blocks of iron. And what you do with these, you come along here and you'll notice my little chessboard, so to speak. It's not ready, but it gives you a good indication of what we need. Let's put these two down here and put them and lay them out. So the, sun, the plinth goes in the middle and the pedestals go around the outside. They make quite a bang, those uh, creepers, when they blow up and give a, what do they give, a seed. And now what we need to do, we need to get prepared for this as well. There's a little bit of tricks. We need to make, where has it gone to, wrong window. We need to make six of these because we've got to put one of those on each pedestal. So what's the recipe for these ones? I did it before and I think I've got everything prepared. I hope I have anyway. So the recipe for this one was, I think this is the one with the feathers, isn't it? And the gas tears. Yes, it is. Well, I've got plenty of simple cratalists. I did a whole stack, actually, created a whole stack. So we need six of those. We need six gas tiers. And I've already forgotten what else I need. I think it was six glowstones. So look. And 12 feathers, that's right. And again, with the looting sword, the feathers are in a plentiful supply. So all we need to do then is to split these two up, right click it, put those up, put that one up and put these up, and then simply just wait and we will get six of these aethers. There is something else I can do as well while this is working. It doesn't take very long. We can automate this process with this uh, alchemy chemistry set because it is a bit of a pain and we do that with the ritual stone here so what we need so this is the ritual of re re regeneration so let's f mm, which way around we're going to do it let's do let's do this first actually 
So I need my bound blade. And my bound blade is actually got smite five and looting three. It's not activated at the moment. And I want the magnet signal of signal of magnet magnetism magnetism. Can't speak again. And I want to activate that. And the reason oh no, I don't want to activate it just yet, do I? And what we have to do is put right click these on each pedestal. Like this. If I can get round. And then we take the weak blood. A weak activation crystal and hit it on the middle I think this is what we have to do that's the one I want that one's not that one is bound to me so let's just check the sword first of all bound blade turn it on bow is also there I won't need the bow but I, but I do want to activate this thing because we're fighting over a void so when the thing drops down there's a chance of it dropping into the void I don't want to happen so let's write, oops, I right click that, that was strange. Hmm, have I forgotten how to do this already? Oh yes I have. What I need is the orb. And I think I need the master ritual orb, let's just have a look. So the master blood orb again, I'm getting the wrong name for things. It's funny going back, you fly. And then I right click this one here, I think is what I do. Yes, there you go. And you stand back. And when these are done, yes. A demon will be created, so it's taking one at each time. Right now. There he goes, now we've got to kill this thing. And it sends you up, but it sends you up vertically. So then it flies along towards you, I think. We fly down towards it, and we try and hit it with the sword. But it can be difficult, this thing, so let's get going. And then it sends me up again. Fortunately, with the jetpack, this isn't too difficult. Down we come again, keep going. We going up quite high. Let's push myself back towards the base. Where's he gone to? There he is. Right, I think that's it. It is that. Ooh. Quite exciting, but the jetpack certainly does help. And there's quite a long way to come down. Of course, you can just press F and fall down quickly. And then press it again before we get to the bottom. So that's how I get the Demon Blood Shard. So now we need to make the active the, we, the awakened activation crystal. I'm having difficulty with my words today, aren't I? So we need one of those. Let's have a look at the recipe again. Okay, so we need incendium I've got prepared. We need aquilus I think I've got prepared. We need one of these. That I think that's everything. Let's just check it. So we need that, 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 that. And it's bound to need the Master Blood Orb, which should have come back to me. Yes, it's on the plinth still, isn't it? Let's, let's just grab that off there. Try again with a blank hand, of course. There we go. Where am I? What's my bearings? Well, let's just put this in here. And you'll see it's now doing its business. And hopefully, in just a few seconds, we have the awakened activation crystal. Fantastic. So I need to right click that so it's now part of the network. You have to do that with everything. So that was really rather an exciting time. Let's turn this off. Let's go and get eat a bit because it looks like my health a weeny bit down from all of that. Uh, I didn't watch that actually, I should have done. 
Okay, now I need some of these and some of these. Basically, that's it. And I need the and this thing. And I need to set this now to being the ritual of regeneration. Let's go and do this on the top of. Uh, before I go and do that, that's one more thing I want. This one. You'll see why in a second. Because it has to be one block up. And what I'm going to do, and I'm going to put this in the middle of this thing. If I can figure out where the middle is. And I can't because I've forgotten my tape measure. Let's do it the easy way. I think tape measure is in here. Yes, it is. Look. Let's move that out of the way and put that in the way. And try to remember where I put my crescent hammer. So let's first of all put one measurement on this corner here. Starting measurement. And then come to the opposite diagonal over here. And then it will tell me the distances so it's 19 19 so basically I want 10 so let's come back from here and go 10 across I think that's maybe this one right click it 10 exactly so let's just put down a block here mm. there Right, we know where it is now. So let's put the tape measure here and go in 10 blocks. That should be 9, that should be 10, it is. Let's walk back a bit, keeping my eye on that block, and then see if that's the one. Indeed, it is. But I'm off, I'm off centre, but that doesn't matter. Because what we want to do is we want to put the a ritual stone. Actually, it does matter as it happens. Let's have a look what have I got here. The master ritual stone. I'd better get this one. Let's just get this block here. We're still in line. So it's that one. Let's double check that. Let's put. I think I can put the measure on the top of this. And come over here. Yes, that's the right one. Don't need that one anymore. So what I'm going to do now is to put the master ritual stone on top of this block. Take it away. And then I'm going to stand on top of the block. One thing I was good, I'm really pleased about was that getting that jetpack, but you can always build them now. I think that's pretty straightforward. I'm simply right clicking this will lay out everything as it should be. In fact, what I can do is I can put those there, and then you, as you can see, as I right click it, it brings them down. And the problem I had last time, that's right, 44, and I had 47. That is the pattern. And all I now need to do is to right click this, I think, with the activated, act, this one, yes, that's right, and it's smoked. So that should now be regenerating. You see my health going up, which is also quite nice because that means I can eat as well and get regenerated. But he's also doing this to the to the mobs below. And the reason I think we need this is because when you're away from here, the mobs aren't going to spawn, are they? Where are we now? Let's go back to base. And now this time they should be not dying so much. Of course they haven't been spawning since they've been there. But what I can also do is this. Let's get rid of let's get some of this stuff out of here. Turn that on and just fly underneath here and it will just simply oops pick up everything. Now you can hear the mobs. And they should be. See it's picking up everything in here. It's really weird that freaked me out first of all didn't quite know what's going on how are we doing now so this time we should be getting two effects on these mobs oh there's a torch in there that's pretty daft I better get that out of there haven't I I hadn't even noticed that it must be around about here Mm, 
I'm going to take a risk. Oh, there it is. So that's the only torch, so that's good. Let's put this back in there, and I hope this is going to work. I'm not 100% sure. It was like last time. Let's get out of the way. Land on this thing over here. Let's see if we can see anything happening. Now my guess is what's going to happen is they're not going to get killed. They're going to get weakened. Look at this. And they'll just give blood. And they're going to get regenerated at the same time. You see that creepy didn't see me so it didn't blow up. Let's have a look. Let's put the orb back in there. Where have I done with the orb? Mm -hmm. Did I put the orb somewhere funny? I must have put it back in this chest over here, huh? I think it's that. Nope. Yes. Nope, that's the other one. Oh, it's in the um, it's in the alchemy. This one isn't it? In fact, we can use this one just as easily. So we can right-click that, join it to my network, and put it in here. You can hear they're getting bashed now, but not getting killed, which is good because I don't want so many mod droppings. I don't need them for anything. Let's get rid of the stuff that I've got in my chest anyway. I've got in here. If I sort, if I centre click this, I should be able to sort everything, and I should be able to get rid of the stuff I don't want. I think it just filled up everything, didn't it? Gunpowder. So somebody is suffering over there. I can hear him. Now what have we got in here that I don't want? Just creeper plant seeds, I think. Electrum nuggets? How did I do that? Zombie brain. Creeper plant seeds go in there. And I think that's everything. Right. So what we can now do, of course, is turn off the sword. Shift right click. And get the dagger of sacrifice. And come over here and slay a few mobs. Now what I'm doing this for, mostly, you get a few mob droppings, which is good, but you also get quite a lot of XP. And the XP is really good for enchanting. There's a, a lot of mobs in there, as you can see, just about now. Oh, and, and another Enderman. And another Enderman. Right. Just just a second. Let's leave that and put some stuff away in here a second. So a little quite little pause there. So jetpack energy is now low, so we can let's get rid of some of this stuff. It's just get so much stuff all the time, it's ridiculous. Two under pearls, one head. You see, everything's going on. And I got resonant tank in there as well. So, resonant portable tank, that is. So, basically, that was what I wanted to show for this episode. How to get the activation crystal. I haven't been through the recipes, that's fairly straightforward. You can do that yourselves, basically. It's not necessary that I. I've only got one arrow, that's not very good, I better get some more. Let's have a look in this chest here. And there is another tip I've got as well when it comes to things like um, this. I used to have this this fluid duct on the side. But what was happening is when the creepers explode to drop their seeds, it actually was blowing up the pipe. So I've moved it to the back here. 
and underneath I've got this one going into the obsidian chest a bit of an overkill of course but having an obsidian chest here they don't really need it but uh, I've got it anyway and there's no risk of anything in here getting blown up by the creepers if it does go completely wrong and it looks like I've got some more of these now 86% 71 that's why well, one's growing faster than the other until at the same time so that's basically it now in the next episode I'm going to go and show you about this thing here it's a teleposer and it's a way of quick travel I'm also going to go back to the nether because as you may notice I've now got 36 blaze rods and I'm also preparing stuff for the um, for the last quest on this well, it's the, I think it's the penultimate quest anyway so we'll do that and is there anything else that's happened here the there's so much happening here I went to the nether I did actually find some nether wart and that grows up really fast and I get plenty of items in here got the state of this is full of clay peat got a reasonable amount of nether lots of sand lots of dirt without having to go and do that manually so that's a good cheap way if you like of getting dirt now there's no problem with power I planted some barley I planted some alderwood trees which of course are not getting chopped down some mushrooms here which grow because this is a big oak tree got another hive and I haven't done anything with bees right we should do that actually let's put this in here and this one in here you see the bees are working away and these high these frames are nearly finished and I've got in here some more bits and pieces I've got some more scented hives and a scoop because the only way to get this at the moment is these now you'll notice here things aren't stacking the same as they used to do this is because I actually crossbred two bees so let's just have a quick look in the last few minutes I should eat a bit shouldn't I look at that let's do that as well because it seems to be I don't quite know why after that regeneration I'm so hungry never mind next few seconds let's get that done anyway so here's the bealizer and in the bealizer you need to put honey so right click that we got plenty of I put plenty of two we got plenty of honey actually and the reason I got plenty of honey was because of the um, the ones that had been produced I took the cones and centrifuged those and I got plenty of honey right so let's have a look at these bees now these are forest drones but this one has been analyzed so that's a pure forest drone that's unknown so we could have a look at that one that's unknown meadows and different meadows because they would stack otherwise and I think this princess here is a cross between a meadows and a common so if we cross this again with another forest bee there's a chance of that becoming a common bee we've got some more in here let's just see, take these and let's see what we've got in our current setup so let's put in these bees here so this one is a meadows common so if I crossbreed that one there's some chance I'm going to get a meadows or a common this is a meadows forest that might be their best choice this is a pure forest this is another meadows common and this is a pure meadows and this is a pure forest now the interesting ones were probably the cross ones this is still a two not everything else is sort of this is a slower not the slowest so it's actually a better pollinator what we got here this is a forest drone and this is a forest meadows I think we should take the forest drone here and crossbreed that with that princess so here's the heart this one's actually got nothing in it so I wanted this forest drone in here and I wanted I'll put these back I wanted this princess in here and I want to crossbreed this with this with a bit of luck I'm going to get a common princess 
So at the moment it's in pure as the meadows common again, of course it would, would be, but the, the offspring will be the interesting ones. And here we've got, this is going down reasonably quickly, and probably the frames will then be gone, and I'll have to replace those frames, which I've actually got prepared here. There's some more frames in here. And put the, let's put the BLIs back in here and sort that again. Maybe this time things stack a bit differently. And here I've got some things. Like what I need is I would like to have a to automate this. I can't automate it at the moment because I haven't got a, a redstone engine I would need and some propolis. And I can't get propolis until I get a certain type of bee. So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Rather exciting. I'll see you next time. Oh, look, there's a an Enderman has escaped. <laughs> Maybe I should go and kill him. I didn't expect him to escape. Okay, until next time, bye for now.